But didn't I tell you? I told you I don't lie. I don't lie when I speak this stuff, all right? D23 gave the people what they want. We're going to break it down. In terms of the X-Men 97 series, no leaks was dropped, all right? That's a sad day for all of us. They ain't dropped no leaks. I don't know what they doing. My people on the ground need to be on, like, get y'all job together. Like, what is y'all doing, folks? Anywho, season two is... Heavily inspired by Grant Morrison run on the X-Men, especially the design. And based off of what um, Bo DeMaio said earlier on Twitter, the design is intricate to the story they want to tell in season two. Anything coming from his run of X-Men is heavily theorized to be embedded in season two. Some new star individuals for season two will be Apocalypse Polaris, which is the daughter of Magneto. And... People was getting this um, misconstrued. It's not Warlock. It's Danger that is going to be a part. And if you don't know who Danger is, I think it's a tweet up here. Danger. This is like a, like an alien took over the war room at the mansion and became sentient. AKA Danger was the Danger Room. So, yeah. I don't know the history that deep because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of years removed from reading comic books like that. But that's the gist of that character. What that character got to do with the whole story of Season 2 of X-Men 97 is to be found out. Apparently, these are the um outfits that were showcased during the panel. But x-men 97 style now i don't know what type of security they had today at d23 but it was no leaks at all throughout the whole animation panel but we got some people on foot known as discussing films and they gave us all the information that we need starting off with eyes of wakanda it is a telling of the history of Wakanda, of them having to keep Wakanda vibranium a secret. And it's a couple special guests that were shown at the panel, which is Iron Fist. Now, due to this being a history of Wakanda, I'm assuming that Danny Iron Fist will not be the Iron Fist that we see. We might see like the original Iron Fist or some crap like that. Now, the person who's kind of spearheading this name is Todd Harrison. He is developing it via storyboard. And he also worked on a couple of action movies. So that action supposed to be verified due to that his involvement. We don't know who Todd Harris is, but we're going to trust discussing films and the hype that's been around this. And this is the best news that we got today. This news saved the Iowa Conda in my eyes. All right. That series will only have four episodes, which is a sweet spot. One month of Wakanda. Drop that junk during Black History Month. Let me go ahead and drop my Everybody. W's. They didn't believe in us. God did. All right, I think this is the best news coming because if they would have stretched this junk out, next thing you know, we tired of it. Four episodes seems like a good beginning, middle, and end. You might even get a jump into the future or jump into the future of like Wakanda Jr. or Black Panther Jr. Who, who to say? Or in a Hail Mary. Let me see if someone can catch it. Next up was What If Season 3, but we don't care nothing about that series. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah. No leaks, but they, they took the shots. Big W, Peter, Peter Parker is back. Full effect. Now, from what I learned from this panel, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man will be a special story being told. Now, it will follow the beginning life of Peter Parker. But the story that he will be following is kind of unique of his own. But before we get into that, let's break down this picture. This is the core cast, for the most part, of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. That's a long title. They didn't do something like that. We got Peter Parker right here. Yeah, I don't know none of these chicks. But you see this jit right here? I forget his name. What is his name? That's Asian Hulk. Amadeus Cho, Asian Hulk. All right. Basically, he's like a young, young Hulk that like, I don't know the details of how he became Hulk, but cool, younger looking Hulk with a mohawk named Amadeus Cho. And he looked like he fit the description. I hope that's not like Asian hate or anything. All right. Anywho, this black man right here in this green suit, you might think, 
who is he lebron james no that is this universe's norman osborne who's being voiced by a person that was teased as kang or theorized as kang which is coleman domingo you might um recognize him from the series of euphoria but he will be voicing your boy norman osborne we got daredevil in there we have multiple suits of spider-man all these little shots right next to peter parker is all the variations of spider-man that we'll see except this one i don't know who homeboy is maybe that's peter parker in a different iteration but yeah moving on we got some of his like uh young classmate friends we got my boy dr strange in there we got tony stank aka iron man we got some villains we got doc ock but you know somebody we cooking where he at there you go I don't know. Y'all might think I'm tripping, but I'm pretty sure this is the Prowler and this is young Miles Morales. They cooking. They cooking. Now, we also get during the symbiote, but that doesn't look like Venom. I don't know what Vim, um, person that is. We got the lieutenant. So, you know, what's her name? Gwen? I don't know if this is Gwen or something, but he for sure look like the feds. But Miles being introduced is kind of lit, especially at this age. Because, you know, season four is when he started doing his whole thing, possibly. Yeah, man. It's, a, it's probably some more characters in this little picture that I don't know who the heck they are. But they got a good cast for right now. Wouldn't you agree? Like I said, the Disney Plus uh, Spider-Man will feature a symbiote, but not Venom. I don't know if it's going to be a season where Venom Spider-Man kind of take three to four episodes to like flesh out we don't know here's a shot and a little synopsis of what it is they say peter and norman's relationship in your friendly neighborhood spider-man is like a what if scenario peter and tony from the mcu the main difference of peter learning from norman who uses more questionable methods because you know he's the green goblin now this version of the green goblin i'm excited to see how they flesh it out would it be like more of the ultimate version of green goblin when he's like a monster or is it gonna be suits and he kind of loopy in the brain and like i said y'all thought i was tripping they already dropping tidbits your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man will feature a future foundation suit. So to get the audience familiar with the concept, they always put it in the series or like, like a smaller film. So the general audience know that this is a possibility. And then they roll that sucker out movie style. So for sure, by 2030, we're going to see a legitimately future foundation Spider-Man being played by Tom Holland. Put my bets in. All right? Stop the cap. I'm not capping. Is another shot of Norman and Spider-Man. And I think that's the main story throughout this series. I'm surprised to see how many episodes they'll have. I give my boy by a good eight. Ten might be pushing it. I ain't gonna lie. Six might be a sweet spot, but I'll I'll chill with eight because they've been missing for a minute. It's been so long since this thing been announced like 2019 almost and it's 2024. So they should be dang near done with season two, working on season three right now. And I feel like this is a five season show, me personally. Apparently Dr. Strange will be fighting the symbiote that was showcased in the photo head based off of the information from the D23 panel. But comment down below, how you feel about this news? Are you excited? Are they cooking? If not, still subscribe. I am low. This is community. I'll see you in another video. No, what are you waiting for? Do, do it! it! Make your dreams Don't come true! Dreams Just dreams. do it!